I certainly think they should be doing it right now. Uh, there's no reason for it to keep uh, putting all that money into the market. The economy is performing very well. Industrial production is at an all-time high again. So uh, why not taper right now? All the stars are lined up. You know, Bob, you've been in the room before. I guess the, the two issues they could point to are the idea that the jobless numbers, they'd like to see more months of improvement before they do something. The second would be the inflation numbers are running so low that it gives them cover. How big of a, a factor do you think those issues play? Well, they always are. And I think there will be very stimulative discussion around the table. And the magic of the Federal Reserve Board meeting really is that at the end there will be a consensus. You will have an almost unanimous, I don't think a totally unanimous, but an almost unanimous view that will crystallize around the issue. And one key person clearly is Janet Yellen. What does she want? Does she want to have to taper at her first meeting, walking into the, uh, into the new job, or does she want to have it off the table? Jim, I know that you think that this is long overdue, a move to taper. You think the effectiveness of QE stopped a long time ago, and you think there are serious problems that could uh, come up from extending this, correct? Well, I, I think we are in a regime of, uh, of price administration rather than price discovery. You see it all over the economy. You see it in you know, health care, of course. You see it on Wall Street. Uh, ben Bernanke addressing the students of George Washington University a couple of seasons ago said to the price controls and were a terrible idea under Richard Nixon, but he seemed not to have the self-awareness to recognize that what the Fed is doing is an exercise in price control. This is uh, stocks.gov, bonds.gov. You, know, you hear these uh, uh, medications advertised on TV and they say uh, you know, for heart condition uh, and then they tell you what it will do for you and then at the end they say, well, and you should be aware that uh, it could also induce uh, hair loss, nausea, impotence, uh, weight those are, loss, those weight gain. Are the, those are the good things. Cancer, yeah. cancer. And then you think, huh, heart attack, what's so bad about that? <laughs> right. Um, the, the unintended consequences of this exercise are much more interesting uh, than the very meager results to date. And the unintended consequences will roll out over the years.